An AEW talent is facing a lawsuit. Scrapped Royal Rumble plans for this year have been revealed. And the reason for a Raw Stars name change, that's also been revealed. And it's all in the wrestling news right now. An AEW talent facing legal action this morning. Who are we talking about, Andrew? We're talking about Luchasaurus. So this comes from WrestleNomics, who report that mask designer CFX has sued AEW and Austin Metelson, aka Luchasaurus, seeking profits that the two have earned in using Luchasaurus's mask in merchandising, as well as damages and attorney's fees. So CFX said that Luchasaurus was authorized to use the mask as a performer, but that the company retained merchandising rights to the design. Now, CFX have also stated that they attempted to sign a licensing deal with Luchasaurus back in 2019 that didn't end up transpiring. Also designed a new mask that AE bought the rights to in 2021. Emails from Luchasaurus though state that the design was too iconic to change and they opted not to. Now on top of this, uh, this is where it gets a little bit cheeky, CFX mm. alleges that Luchasaurus approached another designer to create a near replica of the one that CFX had designed. However, said designer refused to do it, saying it was clear there were legal issues that needed to be handled. So this feels like a, th a thing that's rumbled along for quite a while yeah. and it's make it's made its way to the courts now over over the mask of luchasaurus yeah and i think so i think cfx are absolutely in the, in the rights of this going there as mm. well because you know as it was saying there um all with the stuff there too that they tried to sort of replicate like make a near replica of the mask um from a, from another designer that just feels a bit cheeky i don't feel right good does it that yeah that is really cheeky and i'm glad that the, that the company were like no 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 like something's obviously happening here so we're not gonna do that which i'm i'm glad they've done that just uh just just pay your monies and pay do your, your artists. things yeah pay your artists that's what it that's what it comes down to at the end of the day doesn't it mm, pay your artists that's what it comes <laughs> down to uh, let's talk rumble tomorrow is the royal rumble your Jeez. predictions for the rumble are live on the youtube channel right now with this man and the tall man uh, nine <laughs> pitches for the rumble also online as well featuring this man and two other men uh, but let's talk about not so much pitches but plans that were binned for the rumble Andrew. yeah so this comes from fightful selects and they say that um the ronda rousey SmackDown Women's title defense against Raquel Gonzalez that took place on the December 30th episode of SmackDown was actually set for the WWE Royal Rumble. Which we suspected, I think. to Yes, I think, I think we did suspect that. However, the move was made to add Rousey and Raquel's match and Charlotte Flair's subsequent return uh, and win to add more to that show as well because, you know, with it being the December, I think the final SmackDown of the year, they wanted to make it feel a little bit special, especially with, like, the, uh, the John Cena match in there as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, it did feel a little bit rush to get to that point it did mm. feel like so there, w there was going to be um a bigger payoff in terms of a match at the royal rumble um and but we never yeah, really got to we that never one, got did to we? that did we know uh, another interesting note to this is that several wwe plans have changed as a result uh, of charlotte flair coming back and winning the big blue now at the same time as this was happening charlotte flair was tentatively scheduled to face bianca belair it was something that she teased it yeah. was on a, a suggested match list for belair according to fightful select uh, and she was going to compete against Belair. That doesn't seem to be happening. Rhea Ripley was set to take on Ronda Rousey, uh, but uh, that was when Rousey was still the champion. Yep. That doesn't seem to be happening now as well. Uh, those familiar with the situation claim that Ronda Rousey was presented with several creative options, but they didn't work out, brother. The decision was made to move the title match with Raquel up and put the title on Charlotte. So a lot of change to what the, uh, the, the timeline for the SmackDown women's title, because it certainly felt like we were going to see, as as you said there, uh, via Fightful, Ronda Rousey versus Raquel Gonzalez mm. at the Rumble, and then a defense for Ronda on, uh, at WrestleMania. But yeah, not sure now. Not sure now. I uh, I'm on one hand, I'm quite sad because I would like to see Raquel get you know a title match on a pay per view and have her showcase on, on, a, on a big pay per view. What if she wins the Rumble? She very well could do. Uh, however, at the same time, the title change uh, with Charlotte, even though I think at one point in time would have been like bloody hell, not again. Mm. I think uh, I, th I think um, 
it was the I think it was the right thing to do. Yeah. I think Ronda wasn't really gelling too well um, with the crowd so much and with the title, and it fe- it felt like she wasn't putting a hundred percent into it as well at the same time. Like you know, the, a bit of give and take, isn't there, from the crowd and from the wrestlers themselves. And yeah, it, w- it wasn't really doing it for me and I'm sure it wasn't doing it for a lot of people either. So uh, this change seemingly has, has put into effect some other interesting things that can happen down the line though, which I th- I'm more excited for, I think, ultimately as a wrestling fan. You're more, yeah, they, they, it opens up the, the doors a little wider yeah, for definitely. other things to happen. Definitely. I think Ronda, uh, Ronda and Charlotte both have the same issue in my eyes. Not that yeah. it's an issue editorially. Uh, I think that they're both better as bad guys. Mm. They're both excellent bad guys. I kind of like in my head, I'm just, this is just something I'm percolating in my brain now. Like, why not make Charlotte and Ronda SmackDown tag team champion, like women's tag oh, team wow. champions? Oh, wow. You know, how do they coexist with Robert Maggie and, and hold titles at the same time? Mm. But I quite like them as just like the fact that they don't like each other, but they're both the masters of their craft. That would be an interesting dynamic. Interesting dynamic, That would be it? an interesting, and I know obviously as you were saying there, you've got the whole will they coexist thing. With but Robert Maggie. if you play into it a little bit more uh, with, with the stuff you were talking about there, I'd, uh, it'd, it'd be something different that we haven't, that I think, we haven't seen in a little while at least anyway mm, i think i think potentially I yeah think potentially. but either way um a lot of changes to uh that title match and that title scene mm. uh on the way to the rumble on saturday uh one of those names that's uh, looking like they're gonna have a good showing in the rumble is austin theory uh reigning u.s champion still thanks to the return of a big old brocky doodar <laughs> on monday uh espn uh, had some uh, things to say about austin theory as did some of his wwe mentors boss yeah. And, and others. I certainly did. So as you were saying, yeah, ESPN published an article about Austin Theory and in it, Triple H explained why Theory got his full name back as well. He said, it's a little bit hard just to refer to him as Theory. Even to me, it was a little awkward when he was announced like Theory. It's weird. <laughs> I'm of the opinion that if you don't know the difference between Austin Theory and Stone Cold Steve Austin, there's there's already a problem, right? Thank you. <laughs> so we're fixing the wrong end of the problem. Uh, he goes on to say, do I think he has all the potential to be one of the best stars in the business? Absolutely. What determines that? A lot of that is up to him now. You give him little bits of things here and there and he's improving his game and he's smart. He listens to the crowd, he listens to the people, he sees all the stuff that's going on and he adapts his game on a regular basis. In the same article from ESPN, Undertaker had some really high praise for him too. He said, Theory is going to be one of those top guys. He's a natural heat getter, but he's got to develop a mean streak. Once he does that, once he develops a good mean streak, then he's going to be a real, real viable heel. Mm. I think he is. Me I, too. I think it's a bit undeniable. I think um, I think he's improved so much. I think the stuff with Vince McMahon kind of I don't think that was the best place to put him in straight away because I, I feel like then it felt as though he was just being pushed. Do you know, like in terms of he was just, he's Vince's guy, so he's going to be pushed no matter what, he's gonna be shoved down our throats kind of feeling. That's what it felt like. Mm. Then when Vince stepped down and everything, uh, following the allegations, it was, it like it was like night and day. Something yeah. changed so quickly with him, and uh, they played into it with the story as well. That obviously, you know, Vince wasn't around anymore, so it was kind of like left left on his own a little bit. And then he's really stepped it up, I think, over the last few months. And his in ring work, the matches he's been having with the likes of Bobby Lashley, with Seth Rollins, as well as other people on the roster too. I think he's gone to show that look, he didn't need that initial push from Vince McMahon in the first place. Like he could have done it all by himself. And I think at the same time that makes him more of a credible heel and a credible wrestler to uh, us as fans watching as well yeah absolutely he's adopted adapted and improved and he will yeah. continue to do so uh, as we say heading into the rumble predictions nine pictures on the channel right now live reactions with him and the tall one tomorrow uh, in the in the wee hours here in the uk then you'll have what happened out with jack and the wtf moments with ross you up for the rumble Am I up for the Are rumble? Are you ready to rumble? Oh, I'm ready to rumble. I thought you, you were ready ready going in the rumble. Are you, are you, are you in the rumble? I, I, can't spell, I can't spill secrets. Sorry, Tom. Oh, fine then. No tea being spilt here. But we'll have more wrestling news-flavoured tea at cultaholic.com throughout the day. Case, case. Love you, bye.